consciousness began to fade, I heard a distinct voice resound at the back of my mind. A voice with all the gravity of steel, and yet a strange sense of familiarity, of warmth. And as I listened, I could feel myself being beckoned towards the Wheel of Fortune. Dost thou desire the power? Where am I now? <sighs> Selene? This looks just like my room. I knew it. I'm back in Ymir. I'm finally back home. My memories are kind of hazy now, but I think that means everything that happened in the mountains. <sighs> Why did it get so cold all of a sudden? Oh, you finally woke up? Yeah, just a second ago. How about you? Feeling better after a catnap? Hmm, I guess. I slept more than I meant to, actually. You're awake! Elise! Um... Good morning. Actually, it's probably closer to noon now, isn't it? <gasps> Elise? that you're awake! You don't know how scared I was! There was all the chaos in the capital, and then we lost all contact with you! We had no idea where you were! I 
I'm just so, so relieved. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for worrying you so much, Elise. No, no, you don't need to apologize. I knew that somewhere out there you were all right, and that you'd come back safe. Welcome home, Reen. It's good to be back. And thanks. <laughs> I see our two little lovebirds are as twitter-pated as ever. P pardon Good morning, Reen. And to you as well, Elise. Hey there. Just swinging by to see how you're holding up. You're here too, your highness? I'm really not dreaming then. Oh, you're so silly, Reen. I would have thought the warmth of your dear sister pressed against your chest was proof enough of that. Y your highness, please! <laughs> Well, I'm just glad you're up. How are you feeling? Still sore? You've been fast asleep since we brought you back here yesterday. I don't have any serious injuries, at least. But I doubt I'd be able to say that if you hadn't come when you did. Thanks, Toval. I suppose I owe you my thanks, too. That art of yours didn't come a moment too soon. <laughs> you're both very welcome. I just didn't want to give these two young ladies anything to cry about. Aww. I see you're finally up. Dad! Mom! Hello, Reen. It's wonderful to see you back home. I imagine you have plenty of questions running through your mind, but first and foremost is getting you something to eat. We can discuss what to do from here on out after that.
Here you are, Elise. I wasn't expecting to find the two of you together. Well, it's quite cold outside, so I thought I'd come and give Celine some more milk. <sighs> I keep telling her that she doesn't need to go out of her way for me, but she won't listen. The steam here is plenty to keep me warm. Oh no, that wouldn't do at all. You saved my brother's life. At least allow me to try and make your stay here in Ymir a comfortable one. Celine saved my life? And when exactly did this happen? I told her nothing of the sort. I keep trying to tell her it's not true, but she won't believe a word I say. Um, is something the matter? Nope, not a thing. I'd really rather you didn't act like I saved his life, though. Besides, if anything, I should be the one who owes you. What do you mean? N nothing Forget I said anything. The milk's cooled down a little now, so I'm going to have some. Thank you! Uh. Thinking back on it, didn't Elise later say she spotted a cat when she went into the old schoolhouse? Better not have been who I think it is. Don't give me that look. I wouldn't have let her in there if I didn't think it was safe, you know? I was desperate. You just had such a half-hearted reaction to that door, so I started getting impatient and... I can't believe you! She could have... She wasn't in any danger, honestly. The Guardian in there was designed not to attack people unrelated to the trial. It didn't touch her even when she was right in front of it, right? That's proof enough. I'm sorry, okay? I never should have done it to begin with. Emma's lectured me over and over about it, too. You're sorry? You... Uh, um... I'm not sure why you're whispering to one another, but regardless, I want you to know how much I appreciate what you did. Like I said before, I want to make your stay a comfortable one. Whatever you need, please don't hesitate to ask. It's okay, really. And, um, sorry. Hmm? Why are you sorry? Well, she does genuinely seem to regret what she did. And at least didn't come to any harm. I guess I'll let her off this time. <laughs> I really do have one amazing little sister. Compared to her, I'm... If you've come to thank me for saving your butt again, save it. I'm just glad I made it in time. Princess Alphen and that sister of yours are the ones you should be talking to. You were on their minds this whole time. 
Yeah, I can tell. I really do appreciate you coming for me, though. I was pretty far out from town, so I didn't think anyone would find me. Just goes to show what bracers can do, I guess. About that. I wasn't actually the one who found you. You weren't? Two days ago, I got a call out of nowhere on my Arcus. They gave me this crazy amount of detail on exactly where to find you, then they just hung up. Didn't even say who they were. I figured it couldn't hurt to go take a look. And sure enough, there you were. Hmm, that's strange. I wonder who it was. Wish I could tell you. I couldn't even recognize their voice. Hmm, nah, that's not really true. It was kind of familiar, maybe. Eh, whatever. No use dwelling on it. Right now we've got bigger problems to tackle than mystery callers. There's the war, for starters. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Have you and the rest of the guild been doing much? Well, we've been trying. We're pretty limited on what we can do, partly because we've all been split up since the war broke out. I don't even know if any of the others in Erebonia are okay, Sarah included. It sounds like things have gotten even more serious since I was away. Sure has. Not even regular civilians have been able to escape being affected by it. As it stands, the Noble Alliance has the overwhelming advantage. But the Imperial Army is showing no signs of surrendering to them, particularly in a few regions across the country. I see. Oh, and another thing you might hear. We've been getting reports of a few Jaeger Corps taking part in the war too, even members of Ouroboros. Ouroboros? That secret society? That's the one. Jaegers being employed here in Erebonia is nothing new, but there's way more of them here these days. As for Ouroboros, they're probably just trying to stir up trouble of their own. It's what they do best. Then there's the fact that Erebonia isn't the only place with problems right now. Crossbell's full of them too. There's so much to freak out about these days, it could drive you insane. Sorry, you've got enough on your plate without me dumping all this on you, huh? Try saving all those bad thoughts you got piling up for another day, okay? You need to focus on relaxing. You can decide what you want to do after that. Um, sure. Thanks, Toval. You're probably right. You're just a fountain of good advice, huh? <laughs> I've just got a few years worth of life experience on you, that's all. Oh, and while I'm giving you good advice, why not take a dip in the hot springs? Could be a nice way to clear your head. <laughs> it probably would. Hasn't let me down before. Maybe I should pay a visit to the Phoenix Wings later.
praying so intently. Thinking about it, she must be even more distressed right now than I am. Why, hello, Reen! <laughs> You're looking rather well today. Much better than you were yesterday, at any rate. I feel loads better, actually. Thanks. How about you? Are you managing all right here? I'm guessing life in a tiny village like this is harder than you're used to. If there's anything I can do to make things easier for you, though, don't hesitate to let me know. Oh, not at all. I've been simply loving my stay here. The scenery is stunning. The hot springs are oh so soothing. To say nothing of your mother's spectacular cooking. I'm having the time of my life here. I almost envy Elise for growing up in such a wonderful place. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. Still. On top of all that, I was able to reunite with you here. Oh, and meet a mysterious talking cat, too. Not everyone gets to do that now, do they? I still haven't had the pleasure of meeting that ashen knight of yours, however. Perhaps I might have the chance once he wakes up? <laughs> I suppose I can dream. Um, well... <sighs> I realize I'm the last person who has any right to say this, but there's no need to force yourself to bottle everything up and put on a brave face. I know how worried I am about my classmates, so I can only imagine how you must feel. I shouldn't be getting all worked up about something like this, but I... Just thinking of what my family must be going through is just too much to bear. Cedric and I... We had a fight on the morning it all happened. I was planning to make up with him that evening, but... I... I... Sure, he won't hold that against you. You'll be able to make up with him next time you see him. I'm sure that'll be sooner than you think, too. In the meantime, there's no need to force yourself to seem like being apart from them isn't bothering you. Royalty or not, no one would blame you for being worried or upset. And every single one of us here wants to do what we can to help you. I. Thank you. I... I'm fine now. Um... I, I hope I don't sound ungrateful, but... I think you should be spending more time with Elise rather than me. This is your first chance in a while to spend some quality time together. I'd hate to take that away from her. Why? <laughs> I mean, it's true that she's a little more dependent on me than you'd expect for a girl her age. But that doesn't mean she needs me hovering around her all the time. Then again, she did seem more shaken up than usual. Maybe you're right. I should try and cheer her up while I still can. But that's not exactly what I meant. Oh, this is so difficult on a fair maiden's heart, I hope you know. You're just making me wish you were my brother all the more! Why?
This spot looks perfect for fishing. 